uh, we are going to play a little Lorcana against Ursula. Uh, I'm hoping eventually that they do like a campaign uh, with this. Uh, kind of like what um, Marvel did with Champions. So this is kind of like the player mat that comes with it. There's also an Ursula card that comes with it, but it's not needed. So this is uh, the mission, I guess. Uh, Battleground is called. And difficulty is normal, in, and it comes with different sides where things become uh, harder. But this is normal. I've lost to this many times, so I'm, I don't think I'm ready to graduate <laughs> yet. And it gives you a list of things that you can do if you give up lore. So I can add two to an attack, I can add a resist, or people can draw cards if I give up three lore, which is very difficult to give up. So I'm going to use this. This did not come with it. It's from another game uh, for her lore. She starts out with this card, and then this is her deck here. She didn't really have a hand. I'm going to use uh, the thing because every turn... Depending on how many points she has, she's going to draw a certain amount of cards. So she's going to start with two up to when she gets 10 points. And then from uh, 30 points, she's going to draw three cards. And she lays them out one time, but I'll explain that. Uh, I'm using a magic thing here. It doesn't go down to zero, so I'm starting with one. And then I have a Lorcana one here. Uh, maybe I should drag everything up because it looks like I'm kind of off the screen a little bit. Okay. So let's move all this stuff up so you can kind of see everything. All right, and these are what I use for damage markers. I don't use dice. And this uh, this deck is a uh, blue-purple. Uh, it's an Anna Elsa deck. Uh, and this, uh, I need to have, I need to get at least one more fill. So this is kind of a silver-gold uh, um, kind of a hero deck, but I also have Hook in here as well. So I have Hook and Smee and things to that effect. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, but I really need to make like a fill deck uh, that's all heroes. And I'm going to try to make lines like all villains. All right. So um, I don't take a first card with this one because it's almost like this is the, really the first player character. And then I'll take a, for a card here. But Ursula goes first. Uh, so we're going to basically go through the procedure of how she grows and it's if you're familiar with Lorcana, this is going to be very easy. Um, if you're not familiar, I'm going to explain just a little bit about how Lorcana works as we play. So she's going to, again, start out with two cards. She starts out with this one. This automatically gives her one lore. So she's going to start basically start the game with one lore. All right. And she has to go to 40, and we have to go to 20 each. All right, so her hand, technically this is how this works. She has a hand of two, and then she uh, resolves these one at a time. So this has seven ink that needs to be a seven to seven drop, as they call it. So uh, I cannot use this card because I don't have seven ink. So this goes then into the ink well. And then we'll have a second card. This has a three. We presently only have one. So this goes into the ink well. And that's how that works. But uh, she doesn't tap her ink. It's just if she has that many, she can play that card. Uh, even so, if she only has three and you have three card, uh, you know, two different three cost card cards, she can use both of them. All right. So that's how that works. So normally I would have my seven cards out already, uh, but I didn't. So I'm going to do them one at a time. So I'm going to draw seven cards, which is the starting hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to keep that. I, I kind of kind of want to keep the uh, the winter camp. So like this six, I know I'm not going to be able to use that uh, anytime in the near future. So then I have. I have a one and a two, and then I have two threes, which I could probably use as ink as well. So I'll probably end up keeping both of those and just get rid of the six. Okay, I got another number one, which is good. 
I want to be able to play stuff out without waiting. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to probably use one of uh, the threes there to, to ink to begin with. But I'm not going to use the winter camp because I want to hold on to that. All right. So we reshuffle after we call our mulligan. And now I am going to think I'm going to use the stone statue to ink. Um, put a character card from your discard pile into your inkwell. Okay. So... I'm going to use that for ink, and now I have one ink to use, and I think I'm going to throw Archimedes out so I can immediately get on the board. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here, except he's going to draw eight, but I'm going to do that after, which I made this mistake earlier, I'm going to do that after I draw my seven, I'm not going to draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And I got, I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to give anything up at this point. I probably you will use my Cinderella as ink. She's a really good card though, but I'm not going to be able to play her anytime soon. And the chance of me drawing another card that's, um, that's in this range is probably pretty slim. So I'm going to keep all my cards and I'm going to draw one more for my eighth one. And I got a Prince Philip that is uninkable. So whenever you don't have this circle, that means it's uninkable. So he's going to stay in my hand until I can play him. All right, so I'm going to use Cinderella as my one ink. Uh, I am going to... Let's see what the Bayou does. So the Bayou says, whenever a character quests while here, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to throw the Bayou out so I can get on the board. All right, and now she's gonna go, so everything she has on taps. So again, she's gonna tap that, or exert it, exhaust, whatever word you wanna use. And then she's gonna draw two cards. And she cannot play Hey Hey again, so he goes into ink. And she can't play Typhoon. Great, so I'm getting a reprieve right now because all she's got is high cards coming out. So she has four ink right now. Uh, so as soon as she gets to six, pretty much anything uh, she wants to play, she can play. So it's next turn, she's going to be playing cards. Okay, so here's my hand right now. And I take a card, and I got Cogsworth, which is still a number two, which is great. Uh, the White Rabbit. Uh, I can choose to gain Rush with this one. That's pretty good to have. So I think what I'm going to do... See, this one can get me an additional card. And I don't want to give up my Pawsicle either. So. And this one's gained support. Support for two. That's a good one to have. All right. I'm going to ink this one. To put out my support card. We don't have anybody to fight at this time. So Archimedes is going to quest for one, and I'm already at one, so we're going to do that. All right, so let's see what we do on this uh, this hand. Whole new world, uninkable. This allows me to draw a card. Everybody discards all their cards. It's a board wipe, basically, uh, for cards. All right, so I need to, I can't ink. I have two uninkable cards right now. So I'm off the thing there, but I have two uninkable cards that I cannot use. 
So uh, I'm going to gain one lore from the bayou. And I really don't want to play Smee right now because I have to have a captain in order to play him. Um, I can have him out, but he's going to continually take damage until I have a captain out. Um, I thought that I do have Captain Hook, so I am going to play that. So I have two Wendy Darlings, so I'm going to play a Wendy. And I am going to put Captain out, and I'm going to put Neverland out. I wish Neverland had an actual text. I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, so that would be the end of my turn. So both my my players are now on the board at least, um, both with one point. So I'm in uh, I'm in good shape. All right, and so technically I have two on the board here as soon as next turn starts, unless she board wipes me. Okay, so this again turns up. She uses it. To get her third, she gains two cards. To number seven, it can't be used. And a four. So the four she can use. Exert all opposing characters they can't ready at the start of your next turn. That's awesome. Okay. So basically, I, I, she, she made it so I can't get any points this turn. All right, so I got a fairly fairy grandmother, but she's a five, and she's a shift. So Cogsworth, uh, this character is with reckless gain one lore, but I don't have any reckless characters, so I think I'm going to use him to ink. I'll hold on to the fairy godmother because I might be able to find a smaller gear grand, uh, fairy grandmother so I can shift in. Okay, so I have three right now. So I think I'm going to take my winter camp out uh, so I can get on the board next turn. Well, I have, I have one. Uh, but this allows me to heal. So what it says is whenever a character quests while here, remove up to two damage from them. Uh, if they're a hero character, you can move up to four. Uh, of course, I don't have anything that even has that much defense at this point. All right, so that's the end of my turn there. All right, so I think I have a better hand here than I have there, but uh, I guess we'll see. All right, Strength of Raging Fire. This one's a good one, but I don't need it right now, so I'm going to ink that. And now I'm going to put Smee out. So let's drag these back a little bit. Uh, we're going to get two here. So we're up to three. So I got one each here. Um, and he can't ready. So that's the end of that. Okay. Uh, not awful, but not great. It would have been better if I was able to... Uh, I would have been up to four here, and I would have been up to three here if I was able to uh, put my people out. But I did. So she's going to be at... Again, she's really chugging along anyway. Um, she's not going incredibly fast, so... But now things are going to change. Things are going to change. Okay, so that's a six. One, two, three, four, five. So Anna will not be able to come out. But now anything she's going to have, she's going to be able to put out. Because that's six now. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pretty much anything now I take out, she's going to be able to play. Each opposing player discards a card. Uh, then put this card into the inkwell face down. Uh all right, I'm going to discard the White Rabbit. Pocket Watch. And... I'm going to discard the Simba. OK. 
Okay, so this should be exerted. And that's it. All right, so I draw a card here. Ooh, friends on the other side. So these are all going to go back up now. I'm going to gain one. So he's finally got two. <laughs> finally got two points. <laughs> she has no characters out, so there's no reason for me to fight. Uh, I would like to play this. Uh, a character with three or more costs can sing this song for free. I don't have anyone. That's that. Uh, would have been nice to do that so that I can just um, play other cards out, but I can't. So I'm going to do that, and I can draw two cards. All right, so I haven't inked anything yet. Ooh, she gets Challenger plus three, and Magicka has two points here. Return to charge a chosen item with cost equal or less than the character's thing to its player's hand. That's going to be an important card to have, although this one's strong as hell. All right, so I'm going to finally get rid of the Fairy Godmother. And now I have four. And I'm going to put out the Magicka. Because I can, I can keep bouncing this back to her hand so she can never get those extra points. Okay, so I am going to quest for two. And the reason I'm questing for two is that th these are, this is the symbol. So she quests for two by herself, and these only quest for one. So I'm going to quest for up to four now. That was a, that was a good, good turn on that one. Okay, so we're going to draw a card. Oh, I got another uninkable card. Oh, my God. And I really wanted to get Wendy out because she quests for two. Uh, but they're going to quest for two anyway because of my two locations. But I only have one inkable card. So unless... See, I have the Bayou, but I don't have an extra point to put somebody in there. I really don't want to get rid of Wendy if I don't have to. But then again, he ink, he, uh, he quests for two. All right, let's get rid of her. We'll put Prince Philip out because he also quests for two. And it says, uh, when this character challenges uh, and is banished, you may banish the challenge, challenge character. In other words, if I fight somebody that is stronger than me, they kill me, but I also kill them. Okay? Uh, so what I have left is Avalanche, deal one damage to each opposing character, and you may banish a location. That's really not that important, and I still have the whole new world left. But both of these are uninkable. Um, but if I can move somebody into the bayou, I can start getting rid of this hand. Okay, so, because I can't, I can't use them to ink, so they're just stuck in my hand. Alright, so, Mr. Smee and Captain Hook are going to quest, and I'm going to quest for three more. So I'm going to be up to eight. Okay, I'm actually in really good shape right now. Mostly because she hasn't been able to put any characters out. And I'm going to start getting rid of this. But to do that, I have to tap her. So I have to weigh what's more important. Because literally, she'll put it right back out. But anyway, she's at five now. Uh, and she will get two cards. This is It's going to ramp up for sure. Okay, so that means I can't use this card. Because I can't use any of this. And next turn, she's going to get three more. And then there's Prince Eric. And he's a bodyguard, which means if another card comes out, I have to attack him. And that's why that uh, that Elsa that I held is going to be pretty important because she can wipe him. Okay. 
So I'm going to gain one more lore for my magic, uh, my camp. All right, I got another Cogsworth. I am going to ink the Cogsworth. One, two, three, four, five. That means I can put out Elsa. And this is why I wanted to keep the Rush card. Uh, although I can't fight Eric anyway because he's not uh, exerted. Okay, and I'm also going to put out my Fawcickle. Um, and if I... When you play this card, draw a card. Oh, <laughs> and I got the Fairy Godmother, except it's also a five. So, um, yeah. So she's going to go over here. I can't use her right now. And I don't And oh, I do, one, two, three, four, five. I do have five. So I could play her next round. She's pretty strong. She's a three, seven uh, with uh, questing for two lore. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do over here. Ouch, 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 ouch. I have all uninkable cards. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, oh, I forgot to I forgot to quest over here. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to quest for four. Brings me up to nine. Okay, and I'm going to gain my two lore, which is going to bring me up to 10. These two are going to untap now. Um, I am going to move somebody because I, I don't really want a new, whole new world at this point. Um, maybe next turn. So I am going to move Prince Philip to the bayou. Um, whenever a character... Oh, did I just put him out? No, I haven't put I haven't played anything yet. Uh, whenever I play a um, quests here, you can draw a card and then discard a card. So I'm immediately going to quest with him to bring me up to twelve. I'm going to draw a card, and I got Hercules. So I'm going to discard the Avalanche. Which is really only good if the play is playing locations. And he's a six, so I couldn't play him right now anyway. And I really don't want to play this whole new world just yet. Um, although, I, and I can't afford to do it anyway. And I really don't want to give this Hercules up. I mean, he's pretty strong. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Fire the Cannons for one. And I'm going to deal two damage to Prince Eric. And I don't want to get rid of him because once if I get rid of him, then he's going to start taking damage. Because technically he could wipe Prince Eric out next turn. But I think I'm going to keep Elsa for that because Elsa could then go to the camp and heal. Okay. So I'm going to quest for three more. Brings me up to 15. Which is this, this is exactly where I was. I was playing a tournament yesterday with this deck, and I got to 15 twice, and then the other player just kept wiping my board, wiping my board, so I could never get any additional lore. And then all of a sudden, he had like 10 characters out uh, and, and wiped me out pretty quick. All right, so she's going to go up to six. This is going to get discarded. She's going to go up to nine. Eric is now going to quest for one more. Brings her up to 10. But I have a house rule that if she gets to 10 on the turn, she still only draws two cards. Next turn, she'll draw, next turn, she'll draw three. All right, Captain Hook comes out. And we have another contract. Uh, and Captain Hook... Hook will kill anything, and I really need to do one damage to him because Eric can wipe him, but uh, I need to do four damage. So I need something that has support um, or something to that effect that'll give me that extra point to kill him off. 
they'll both die, but, uh, but he's gaining two and I really want to get rid of that. And this is another three. So she's going to have the 20 pretty quick. All right. So let's, uh, I got another Elsa. She can freeze characters, but I think at this point I'd rather get two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get my fairy godmother out. These are all going to ready. Okay. See, if I attack him, I can't attack him now anyway. So I'm going to gain my one point, bring me up to 10 for my winter camp. Uh, so I spent five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So I'm going to move Elsa into that. Um, into the winter camp, because now I can heal, do damage, whatever a character quests while here, remove up to two damage. Uh, if they're a hero character, remove up to four. So she is a hero too, but I won't do that. I'm not going to do that much damage. But she won't be questing anyway. She's going to be attacking. So I won't be able to hear her, heal her this turn anyway. So uh, she is going to do three damage to Eric, killing Eric. And she's going to take two damage from Eric. Okay, and the reason being is that he does two damage, and it's an automatic battle back and forth. So these are all going to shift down. And But I'm going to be able to heal her next turn. So, Or I can even use the paw sickle to heal her. Let's do that, because right now I have new cards. It might be a good time to use that whole new world. Um, I did put her out. And I did use the one, so I can't play any more cards anyway. Even if I got it, I couldn't play it. And if I'm going to whole new world it, then I might as well come go with nothing. All right, so she's going to go for two, three, four. I think I just played that out, so I can't do anything there, but I'll be up to 14 points. Man, I'm rocking her this turn, this uh, game. Yesterday, she whooped my ass. Okay, so let me draw a card. Uh, oh, I only have four. I don't have enough to play Home in the World anyway. Okay, so let's gain my two from my locations. And I'm going to quest for two with him. Bring me up to 19. I'm going to gain a card for that. And I have to discard a card. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That is just plain awful. All right, Hercules is going to have to go. So I have one, two, three, four, five now. So I could whole new world it, but now I have stuff that I'd actually like to play um, because now I have another Captain Hook. And Captain Hook says, when you play this character, you may return an action card named Fire the Cannons. So I can pull that back. And I used four to put him out. One, two, three, four, five. I can play one more card to be five, and we're going to deal two damage to Hook, which also means that I have another fire to cannon, so I can actually kill him off next turn. Um, and then I'm going to quest for three. That puts me over 20, so I'm actually at 23 now. So this game's over, dude, because I'm going to get it here, too. And there's no way she can catch me now. So she's going to go up to 11. Uh, Hook's going to quest for two more. Ursula is going to use her contract for two more, for three more, bringing up to 16. She's going to gain three cards this turn. Each opposing character player loses three lore. 
Okay, so that puts me back down to 20, which is still fine. But now this guy's hurt. Now I'm up to 11. So she, he's not, he's not close now. She just made the game go on longer. Four, deal two damage to each opposing character. She's going to kill off both of these guys. Uh, she will also kill off Ursa, uh, Elsa. She just board wiped me. I guess I should have used the paw sickle. Damn it. Okay, Captain Hook is dead. Lucky I got that other Captain Hook. Smee's going to take two. He's going to take two. And Prince Philip is going to take two. But they're all still alive. But now Smee won't take another damage because I have the other hook out. So I'm lucky I didn't Brave New World that or else uh, I would have been screwed. But I'm taking Captain Hook out anyway. All right, so that's the end of this card. And the Mad Hatter comes out. So she's that whole turn, she completely screwed me. All right, so let's see what I do here. Okay, so I have one, two, she's uninkable, so it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, I have three left. I am gonna move Magicka there for one. I'm gonna move her there for two. And I'm gonna quest on both of them. Neither one of them are heroes, but it doesn't matter, I'm gonna heal two on each. Okay, so I'm gonna gain four for that. Brings me up to 15 again. And this I just played. All right. Uh, oh, this location's off the map here. But you can see that I have both of them on that location. Uh, and I think that's the end of my turn. But anyway, at least I saved my characters here because she, she took me out. She took three characters out in one shot. And if these guys were any cheaper, she would have wiped my board on this side too. Okay. All right. So... I got Kaboom, but I don't need it because I have the, the cannons. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six right now. I'm going to gain two from my locations. Oh, I don't know if I gained the one from that. So technically, I should be up to 16. Okay. I am going to use my fire the cannons to kill him. Oh, I could have used the Kaboom to shoot him. Um, and I still have my whole new world here because technically we have no cards. I used one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to use it. Uh, that'll be seven or I mean, that'll be six total, which is the amount of cards I have here. And... That means we each draw seven cards. Neither one of us have any cards. So that fills up our hand completely where we were just depleted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can't do my my turn's over, um, but you can see what I've got. And I, plus, I'm over twenty. I'm at twenty two right now, but I have an inkable card there. But I did ink the kaboom, and uh, yeah, and then I got another Captain Hook, and then I got another Prince too, so I can refill up my characters now. Not that I'm going to need to. Um, so Prince Eric. It's going to quest for two. I don't bother about taking another card. He's going to quest for two. He's going to quest for two. Or for one, I mean. So two, four, five. That puts me up to 27. Okay. Uh, she's going to go right now. So she's going to be up to 17. 
Mad Hatter is going to go for one. That would be 18. She's going to gain three cards. Uh, uh, I'm going to get rid of him. He's got a power, just FYI. He's, first of all, he's bodyguard, which means I have to take care of him first anyway. Uh, this character enters play exerted, which means I can attack him if I wanted to. Or during the opposing player's turn, you may uh, collectively pay three lore to banish him. Tamatoa. And this, this is where it gets. She automatically just starts throwing cards out. So if I wasn't as good a shape as I am right now, this game would be a lot tougher. So collectively now, since it's my turn, um, I'm going to draw a card. But collectively, I can give up three to get rid of Hercules. So I'm just going to have him do it. One, two, three, down to 24. Hercules is gone. Okay. All right, so I have a Basil, I have a Pinocchio, I got another Paw Sickle. Uh, for first of all, I'm going to gain one. Uh, I have an Olaf, which I think I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink the Olaf. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to put out Mufasa, and I'm going to put out a second Paw Sickle. I got this really strong Elsa here, too. She quests for three, but she requires eight. I need one more. And I have an Anna and a Pinocchio. Uh, I have a strong hand right now. So Elsa is going to quest for one. And Fairy Godmother is going to quest for two. And Magic is going to quest for two. So that's two, four. Five, that puts me over 20. Game over. Nice, nice, nice. I whooped her ass that time, but she had a card yesterday. She was just drawing cards. She had a very strong start. Whenever she has a strong start, uh, I know I'm screwed. But she had a very weak start this time. Very weak. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I was kind of hoping this deck would be doing a little better than what it is. But because um, I actually did this one, I got my ass whooped on. But because uh, I, I don't have a strong back end. I have a strong starting with this one, but the back end doesn't really work. Um, so because I don't have enough anything to draw, help me draw cards. So that's the problem with this deck. Um even though I have the whole new world in there, I never drew it yesterday. And this card, this deck here, would also, also, as you notice, ran out of cards. So even though I had uh, the friends on the other side, I think I need to have more friends on the other side than this deck. I think I need to have four of them in there. Um, anything that helps me draw cards out. All right, well, and then Phil never even came out on this deck. Let's see even where he was. Because I got all my Smees, everything else, all those came out. Neverland. Look at that. See, if I'm going to play a Phil deck, is Phil even in this deck? Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, I need to have four fills to make this deck work. Because every time you put a hero out, he gains uh, a lore. So, uh, if I'm going to build a new deck around that. All right, well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. If I made any errors in, uh, in rules, let me know. I don't think I did. And I will see you guys in the next one.